Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and this is the vintage and antique part of my rummage sale haul. I shared the practical household items in my vlog, and I'm making a separate video for the collectibles. I paid 50 cents each for these little salts. These two are the same style. They have gold and pink roses. On the bottom, they are marked Germany. And these are great to hold little projects and beads and jewelry. You could also put some type of little Easter egg or glass piece in there to hold it up um, or create a little bit of height in one of your displays. This one is French. And this one is marked Japan on the bottom. So a nice little range there. I found something that has been on my list for a few years now. I heard about this brand from Stephanie at the Chateau Diaries. She made a video about Bernardo, and I wanted one of these little lanterns. So it came with the candle. I paid $12. I have seen them here used and at thrift stores or yard sales for between I want to say five to fifteen dollars so this one was 12 it was right in the price range that i've seen them at but i wanted the rose design and i've seen tulips and other patterns and today was the day that i found the roses i picked up two handkerchiefs for 50 cents each i love this trim on the edge of this one just a plain white one and this was also 50 cents and it's very intricate. Has the silk center. I always think something like this would look nice framed in a shadow box and then you could highlight some jewelry on the inside. Two little bunnies. This one's Bone China. That was 50 cents and this one it's plastic. It was in a little bag uh, with others for 50 cents, but this is just the one that I'm going to keep. I got this beautiful mosaic pin. I compared it to the ones I already have, and it's probably double the size. It's very large, very detailed, and I love those pastel colors. There's the backing. Um, it's definitely been modernized, and that one was $14. I think this was my find of the day. I was in the linen section and I love finding monogrammed linens. I love the white monogram on white linens. And I found one, I was so happy. And then when I saw it, it is a beautiful font, but it's also my initials. Yep. And it was $3. So they called it a hand towel. And maybe that's because there was just one of them. Um, it's long like a towel, but this is definitely like a, a banquet or a dinner napkin it's large and it's never been used I mean it is so clean no stains it's just hard to see because it's late at night so the pattern on this it has these arches on the edge it has like kind of a woven laurel leaf pattern some dots and then there's a very like classic rose well guess what then I found this. So this was heavy and it was folded a lot. So I thought, well, maybe it's the tablecloth and that's just one napkin. But it says it is actually six napkins for $5 that have my initials. I, and I just love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, now look at this. So it's probably, because I just unfolded it, this is the first design. And this is the second design. And this is the design that I just love. It has more of a Charles Rennie Macintosh um, rose. I love the sharp leaves. And yeah, look at the sharp leaves and the scroll down there. I love this one. So let's see how much of each pattern there is. There are two of the design that I prefer. And there are five of this design here. So I paid, I guess three and five. So I paid eight, four, seven. I paid a little over a dollar a piece for these. I'm so excited.
So that also means I'm going to have to go back because they always restock and maybe there are more of each of them. Who knows? I'll be on the hunt. Oh, I just found these things, so they probably should have been included in the other video, but I'll just add them here. Um, I did find another candle, a Capri Blue candle called Tinsel and Spice, and I know they sell these at Anthropology, so they're not inexpensive, and I only paid $1.50 thrifting mine. Tinsel and Spice, it smells like a pine-scented candle, and I've seen a lot of uh, Christmas items out at stores recently, and then smelling all of these Christmas candles is definitely making me think of the holidays. And I got a white mixing spatula, it was a dollar. And um, some of my wooden handled ones have seen better days and to make life easy, I like th sticking things in the dishwasher. So this one can go right in there. And then I found two of these seam bindings and I've only ever seen seam bindings sold in those like paper and cellophane packages. I've never seen them with the, um, the metal like foil around them. So those were 50 cents each. This buckle was in a bag for $2 and I just wanted the buckle. It's very similar to the ones that I found in the spring and it definitely is an older style, very detailed. And I have enjoyed putting these on some of my ribbon rolls. So that's why I decided to buy the bag even though I wanted only one thing in there. Here's the back. So this is an interesting find. It was only 50 cents. So my daughter and I were walking and this was on the ground and she said, what's that? And I almost just walked away. It looked really strange. And then when I bent down and looked at it, I saw it was a leprechaun, but it's missing a shoe. It's missing a hat. But I saw that it was a steef. Now, I don't know if it's steef or stife, so please let me know. And I told my daughter, you know, these are really collectible and they're expensive. I've only seen them at estate sales and they're always like at the checkout counter, very expensive, like nothing I could ever afford. Um, I've only ever seen stuffed animals as well, never little dolls like this. So I thought for 50 cents, even though he's missing some things, let's get him. He's got this little tag on named Lucky. And here it's got that original tag made in Germany. It's got that little gold button there. I can't believe I found it. So we searched a little bit to try and find the shoe and I couldn't find it, but then we found another one. Now he is in bad condition. So whatever rubber this is has definitely dried out. His name is Mackie. He looks like a hedgehog or wolverine or werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like he is missing that little gold um, button. Does it say what it is? I don't know. But I said, okay, for a dollar, I'm going to get these guys. I found two hangers. I picked this one up because I liked the material and the color. And now that I have it home, I think that I could even add another bow to it with ribbon that I've received from Gabby, maybe finish the center off with a piece of jewelry. But I could also hang necklaces or um, my bead strings from something like this for some pretty um, display. And I got this one because I wanted a clip hanger to hang um, a skirt but I'm also collecting hangers that are this style, um, this thin wood. This one just has like some quilting on top of it for my daughter's room. So it can work in either spot, but slowly I'm trying to collect all of these and switch away from the plastic ha hangers just for that vintage aesthetic. Individual cards are a quarter and they have a lot of Christmas ones from Hallmark, very nice. And I picked this up because it's the kind that you can slip a gift card or money in. And those are very helpful for the teenagers in my life at Christmas. This Whitman's chocolate box was only a dollar. I am going to use my hair dryer to get this off. So hopefully it doesn't peel any paper off. I can't tell if that is peeled off or part of the sky design I think is actually peeled so hopefully do not too much damage getting that off uh, when I first saw this I thought oh maybe it's just a reproduction or it's a metal tin but no it's one of the older paper boxes look at that pastoral scene there with the cows that's the other side that's the inside 
So I know people like to display these, um, and I actually store things in them, and especially my Valentine's Day display items, because I think that makes sense to keep them in a chocolate box. Bonnie Brook. Really pretty art. I will be making a second video because I have much more to share, but I like to keep my videos to a manageable amount of time. That way you can watch other people's videos or, you know, sneak it in in between different activities in your day. So the last two things I'll share are uh, these die cuts. That one is gonna go in the upstairs window and that was 50 cents. And this cat is gonna go in the front window. But since I was putting the skeletons in the window when I saw these, I thought, oh, that'll be a nice addition. And that was 25 cents. And the last item um, is this set of three napkins. I wish there was a, a few more, but the price was right at 225. And they are beautiful. It's a plum color. So I will definitely be using these at Thanksgiving. And I don't see a tag, but these really look like they would have been um, sold at Williams Sonoma. They're just such a nice quality and color. So thank you for watching everyone. And I did hit 16,000 subscribers. And I think it was a big thanks to Dee and Pam at both of their sales on Saturday, plus to any of you who shared it. Um, but very quickly in Dee's sale, many people said, I subscribed, I subscribed. So we can finally do the giveaway. So I'll make a separate video about that or put it in a vlog, but I'm gonna wait maybe a week or so just to make sure that I stay above 16,000 and don't dip back down. Um, but look for that giveaway contest video soon. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.